Wow, that makes me really upset. No, it doesn't. Well, yeah, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. Dang, Anna, why are you so angry, girl? What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, try to teach you how to improve your mental and emo emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, I'm doing a video on Anna Akana today. She just made a video about anger, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I want to kind of dissect her uh, video and try to offer you some tips, try to unpack it a little bit and dive a little bit more into why Anna Akana is awesome. But first, before I do that, I'm going to do my little quick shameless plug. For any of you who are struggling with anger issues, I just released my new book right there, Rewire Your Anger. All right. And it's only five bucks in the Amazon store. And you might be wondering, oh, Chris, where'd you get that sweet shirt from? Well, those of you who missed my David Dobrik video, from now until Christmas, if you go to the Rewired Soul merch store and you get yourself a shirt or a hoodie, use coupon code SOLUTION. Not only do you get 10% off, but you get a free copy of my ebook. All that information will be down in the description below. So make sure that you check, check that out. But yeah, the ebook is like 60 pages, very short, simple, gives you a bunch of tools to manage your anger, all right? But anyways, I'm glad I get to do another video on Anna Akana. Um, some of you who've been subscribed for a while, you know that I've been asking you like, who do you feel are the most like mentally healthy YouTubers? And Anna Akana is definitely someone who keeps coming up. And I was recently introduced to Anna Akana and I don't know much about her, but I've watched like quite a few of her videos just trying to catch up. And she's amazing. She is awesome. So over on our Discord server, huge shout out to everybody who helped me out with this. I, I asked, I said, hey, has Anna Akana been open about therapy in any of her videos? And I asked for some clips and you guys sent me some amazing ones like this. Oh, uh, hey, do you mind if we talk later? Oh yeah, of course. Okay, great. Oh my God, what do they want to talk about? What could it possibly be? Oh my God, there's so much time left in the day until it's later. <laughs> I've been in therapy for the past decade, on antidepressants, off antidepressants, and just fully immersed in the world of mental health for quite some time. So yeah, one of the reasons that Anna Akana is so mentally well, and that doesn't mean she doesn't have her own struggles, but she has tools to overcome them is because she's going to therapy, and I hope this inspires others to try therapy. By the way, real quick, if any of you wanna have fun with me in the comments, watch how many people leave a comment without watching this video telling me that Anna Akana does go to therapy. I saw that in my Gabby Hanna video that was titled similarly, so I think it's gonna happen again in this video. But anyways, let's get started. And if you're like me, and you tend to have really bad boundaries, you'll often find that you're resentful of yourself and others because you're often in situations you don't want to be in. And the thing is, we only have ourselves to blame. I mean, bad boundaries are learned, but good boundaries can be relearned. And it starts with taking responsibility for your actions and emotions. So sexy. Right there, that is, that is such a huge point, okay? It's so big because there's so many things that can cause poor mental health, right? Like we talk a lot about trauma and abuse or just even biological um, conditions like clinical depression or sometimes anxiety disorders or other disorders, right? Like bipolar. But there's so many things that are in, in our control. And one of the things that I keep trying to teach you guys is you know with so many things outside of our control when it comes to our mental health we need to hyper focus on the things that we can control so what anna akana is talking about is how we, how we cause a lot of our own problems like for example in my book rewire your anger there's another plug for you i have a chapter called like quit making dumb decisions right like what anna's talking about is that there's so much we do to ourselves that causes our anger issues all right and it's difficult, it's difficult to talk about this because some people who are just kind of passing by, not, not at a certain place in their journey yet, a lot of people take that as like victim blaming, right? When we tell you to take accountability and responsibility for, you know, your mental health, people say it like, you know, like, oh my, oh, this wasn't my fault. And that's not what we're trying to do. People like Anna Akana, people like myself, we're trying to teach you to empower yourself and realize how many things that you're doing that are causing different situations in your life. Because if you can identify those and work on those, I promise you, I promise you that your life will get so, so, so much better. Because what I always try to teach people is it's a lot easier for you to fix you than it is to try to fix the rest of the world around you. 
Boundaries are these weird, invisible, and symbolic fences that are meant to allow us to protect and assert our authentic selves. And they're in every facet of our lives. I know. We fear being rude or people not liking us or being viewed in a certain way. So in the moment, it's easier to violate our own boundaries and say yes to things we secretly don't want to do. So yeah, with these clips right here, Anna is explaining how our lack of setting boundaries is causing a lot of our problems. And I can identify with that a lot. See, so most of my life, I was a people pleaser. Any of you who are children of alcoholics, just so you know, one of our common symptoms is being a people pleaser. A lot of people who had abusive parents, we can be people pleasers. There's a lot of psychology behind that, trying to please our parents, earn their love, and all that kind of stuff, right? So. People pleasing can typically mean that we don't set healthy boundaries. We say yes a lot. So what Anna's talking about and the point of this video being about anger is, is that I know in many situations that I would say yes to people. I would say yes, I would say yes to things that I didn't wanna do, right? I would overcommit. It would cause me to be stressed because I told everybody yes and my schedule would be packed and I knew I just wanted to relax, but instead I'm running around doing favorites for everybody, right? But the issue is, is that we get mad at other people, right? And that is ludicrous. That is absolutely ludicrous. Think about it for a second. Like, where do we get the right to be angry at somebody else because we have poor boundaries. You know what I mean? And I get it, and in a minute, we're gonna talk a little bit more about why we don't set boundaries, but it's important to at least identify this. So I want you to think about how many situations in your life where you're angry at somebody else because you didn't set a proper boundary with them. And this could be friends, family members, coworkers, it could be your boss. You know, like I know many times, I would get mad at my bosses because I kept telling them yes. And then I would get angry and say, oh, they give me so much work, even though they gave me the option and I took it, right? Because what I'm trying to uh, let you all know and remind you of is many situations. In many situations, you have a choice, all right? And and I had somebody tweet at me something and I won't dive into that, but there's always, there's always a choice, okay? There is always a choice. Sometimes the choice might get you fired but there is a choice nevertheless, all right? Because sometimes you might have a boss who keeps asking you to do something but really telling you, but at the end of the day, you do have a choice on whether or not you work in that place. So remember, like a lot of this is so you can empower yourself so you can start making decisions that will improve your mental and emotional well-being. I mean, you'll know when something isn't sitting right with you. Don't bulldoze over your intuition because you're afraid of a little confrontation. It is possible to assert yourself without being a I love that part. I love that part right there because so much, so much of us not setting boundaries is out of fear, right? Like something I keep trying to teach you all is to quit caring so much about what people think. And what she's talking about is like, like set boundaries without being a jerk about it. Like we can do that. We can do that. And that's something that took me a long, 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 long time to learn because I get very sassy. Some of you who are familiar with Tough Love Chris, I can get sassy, right? But some of my sass is setting a boundary. You know what I mean? So like, for example, if you didn't wanna do something, you can kindly say like, no, you know, that's just not really my thing. But you can thank them for inviting you. You know what I mean? Like. Being, you know, a dad, you know, a uh, sober dad, I like to hang out. I don't like going to too many social things. I live in Las Vegas and hardly ever go out. Like, when people come to visit me in Las Vegas, like, usually I try to stay away from the strip, you know, and I have no problem setting boundaries with people like, yo, I, that's not really my scene. I don't like doing that. But especially as an addict and alcoholic in recovery, like, Sometimes I tell people like, no, I don't really hang out at bars. You know what I'm saying? So like, we need to do those things, but we always like, one of the ways that I personally balance that is that I always thank people for the offer. Like, thank you for inviting me. Thank you for, you know, putting that out there. I really appreciate it. Like, I tell people, I appreciate that you were thinking of me when you invited me to this thing, all right? And in most cases, in most cases, they'll completely understand. So if you find yourself randomly upset, check in. Are you needlessly overexerting yourself? Are you saying yes when you really mean no? Are you letting someone just take over what you want? And if the answer is yes, get excited to have a lot of uncomfortable conversations.
because the rewards are worth it. Right there, right there. I, I hope you guys rewind, write that down and memorize it, okay? Like this is a, a healthy checklist to keep in your, in your brain. I made a video a while back about setting boundaries with people, but it had like 10 or 15 things. This is a very short, simple list that you can use, right? So in any given situation, this is why I try to teach you all to like start meditating, practice mindfulness so you can pause, right? Like I have a friend who overcommits so much and they get angry at people, right? But it's because they say yes immediately. Like they say yes and then they tell me, they're like, oh my God, I gotta do this and this and this and I can't believe they asked me to do this. I'm like, why didn't you like take one second to pause and ask yourself, right? Maybe if you're somebody who is not great with time management, keep a calendar. So when people ask you if you can do something like check your calendar and say, yo, like there's calendars on every single phone. Like just check it out and say, oh, I'm doing something that day or hey, that's a really busy day. Like right now with my channels growing, I am trying to collab with a lot of different people. I love promoting small creators. I love working with other creators who I'm a fan of and all of that, right? But I have to set boundaries with them. Like sometimes like I have to say, oh, hey, sorry, I'm really busy that day. Hey, sorry, I can't do the collab that day. You know what I mean? There's so many times that I have to set a boundary like that. And part of it is so I don't overcommit and I look at my schedule and see what else I have going on here. Now, when it comes back to the fear, the fear that we have, right? So not only do I tell you to quit caring so much about what people think about you, I cannot, I cannot emphasize this enough, okay? I made a video a while back that was called Quit Blaming Others for Your Feelings. But I will repeat it right now. You do not have the power to make someone feel a certain way, all right? Let me repeat that for the people in the back. You do not have the power to make someone feel a certain way, all right? So in the same sense that we're talking about how you know, we cause our own anger when we overcommit to things and we don't set up healthy boundaries. It's the same thing. If we politely decline an offer or we, or we set up a boundary to protect our own mental health and they get upset with it, that's on them. That is totally on them. If we know that we're coming into that situation and we have the motives and the intention to be as kind as possible, because sometimes, you know, we are fallible. And if if we came off like a jerk or if the other person perceived it as a jerk, go ahead and apologize, right? But as long as your intention is never to harm, right? And you learn from your mistakes, you cannot make anybody feel a certain way. So quit taking so much responsibility for the way that other people feel, right? Like think about that for a second. Why do you think you have so much control over how everybody feels. If it was that simple, why don't you um, create world happiness? Why isn't everybody happy since you have the power to make people feel a certain way? You see what I mean? Like when we phrase it like that, it seems a little silly. So just remember when you set up boundaries, if somebody feels a certain way, typically that's on them and they're gonna have to work on that themselves the same way you and I are trying to work on ourselves, all right? But anyways, anyways, I love Anna Akona so, so, so much. I'm glad I got to make another video about her. And if you guys wanna keep giving me suggestions of like mentally healthy YouTubers, I think I'm gonna do Jenna Marbles soon, maybe even Jenna and Julian, but a lot of great suggestions have come up. But in the comments down below, let me know. Let me know, how are you with boundaries? Can you relate to what I was saying? Are you afraid to set boundaries because of what people think? Can you relate to what I'm saying about like, are you afraid to set boundaries because you think you're gonna make somebody feel a certain way? Like, let's have a conversation down in the uh, comments below because I guarantee I guarantee that you are not alone in this situation. All right, and just a reminder, just a reminder, my ebook, Rewire Your Anger is out, but if you get any t-shirt or hoodie from the Rewired Soul merch store, you get the book for free, all right? And use coupon code SOLUTION for 10% off. And all the description uh, information is down in the description. What's wrong with my talking today? Anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to all of you wonderful people supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you wanna check out the Rewired Soul merch store, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.